Hey guys, Mr. Myas is here and I'm going to be going over washer formula. So the last time, um, the last video I made was on the disc formula and now I'm looking at another type of volume formula where we're doing washers. So what I mean with washers is, um, let's say I have um, this, uh, well let's, let's do the first one here and then I'll, I'll show you what I mean by washers. So this one's discs. And if you remember when with disc, we're rotating this about the x-axis, so like this. And we're going to take a, um, you know, we're basically taking, you know, disc like this. With This is why well, I made that a little too big here. Um, you know, there's going to be a little like that. This is going to be the thickness. And we're finding the uh, area of that, which is pi r squared. So r in this case is going to be my function, negative x squared plus x squared dx from 0 to 1, right? So that would be our uh, integral. We're going to set up these integrals. We're not going to really solve. We're not going to solve them. We're just going to set these up, okay? So that's going to be our integral using a disk method. Well, what happens is for washers, and for washers, this is what's going on. Um, we're rotating about a line, a line that's that's not on the x, that's not on the axis from where that area is. So what's going on here is that we're rotating this thing, and it's going like you know it's going like this. All right. And what's happening is that we're also we're going to end up with kind of like a hole in this figure where this part right here, this part is um, is empty and we've got all this shaded in here. So if you could think about this, this is kind of like a, a washer that you would use on like, you know, when you're doing, you know, housework or something and you're putting screws and stuff and you use a washer on top of that. You know, it's, it's a cylinder with a, uh, like a cup, you know, it's a cylinder with a hole in the middle. So what we need to do is we need to just find this area part right here and the, in, the way we do that is we take the big radius minus the little radius and square that. Okay, so um, back out here, the, we're going to take the big radius squared minus the little radius squared. And you're going to want to see uh, what that is based on your drawings. So you're going to really want to take a look at these drawings very carefully. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at this first one. The big radius is going to go from the function, okay, so this is that part right here, all the way to 1. So this is 1 plus the length of that function, okay? So my big radius is going to be negative x squared plus x plus 1, okay? It's this part here plus my 1, which is how far away that I am from the uh, the rotation, the axis of rotation. My little radius, my little radius is here to here. So what is that? Well, that is, that's one. So I'm just going to put that as one. So my integral is going to be pi for my volume from zero to one, same limits of integration, negative x squared plus x plus one squared minus one squared dx. Remember, this is big R squared minus little r squared. All right, so that's using washer method. Let's take a look at another one. So now we're we're doing above about y equals two. So that's above the the uh, above the curve, above the area. So let's mark what our big R is. So if it wouldn't if it stop moving here. So right here. Okay, right here. This is big R, and little r is going to be right here. Okay, so notice that big R is going to just be 2 in this case. Big R is 2. That's from the axis to the uh, outside where our, our, um, our rotation, axis of rotation here is. Our little r is going to go from the function to 2. So in this case, it's going to be... Um, from the function 2, 2, so let's think about that. That's going to be this whole space minus the function, minus this distance here. So little r is going to be 2 minus 
x squared, oops, negative x squared plus x. So that's going to give me 2 plus x squared minus x, if I want to simplify that out a little bit. So my integral is going to be from 0 to 1. Again, this is my volume integral. 0 to 1, oh, I don't want to forget my pi. Again, you all know how much I like pi. I never want to forget pi. Okay, big R squared minus little r squared, which is 2 plus x squared minus x squared dx. Okay, so that is my integral for the volume of that. Again, washer method. you gotta, you got to draw out your r's. Okay, if you don't draw out your r's, it's going to be much harder to figure out what, um, what your big R and little r are. <laughs> That's a lot of r's. R, like a pirate. R, R, R. Uh, this is, I guess this is the pirate's favorite type of calculus problem because there's a lot of R's. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and that's some bad dad jokes there. Let's go ahead and figure this one out here. I'm going to rotate this around the x-axis. So my big R is going to be from the top all the way to the axis. And my little r is going to be from this function to the axis. So my little r is going to be, what's that function that goes? That's going to be x squared. And my big R is going to be from the top to the bottom there, which is going to be x plus 2. All right, now I need to find these points here. So how do I find those points? I set those equal to each other, right? So x squared equals x plus 2 x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 2, x plus 1 equals 0, x equals 2, x equals negative 1. All right, so what's my integral going to look like? Volume equals pi times the integral from negative 1 to 2 of big R squared, so x plus 2 squared minus little r squared, x squared squared, dx. And there we go. I've got my volume for a uh, for this one using this washer method. All right, let's take a look at another one here. Last one to take a look at about the line y equals four. So that's right here, exactly where they intersect, right? And these are the same functions, so, but I, again, I need to write out my r's to see what I'm doing. Okay, r little r is here to here now. Right, that's little r. That's going to be, remember, it's just the function to my axis. So what is that? Well, little r is going to be all the way down here, like all the way this, minus that, right? This whole thing minus this part. So little r in this case is 4 minus um, x plus 2 which is going to give me 2 minus x. Big R is from here to here. So what's big R? That's going to be 4 minus x squared. So I found it the same way I found little r. Okay, the difference between the axis of rotation and my uh, function. So my volume equation now is going to be pi from negative 1 to 2 of big R squared 4 minus x squared squared minus little r squared 2 minus x squared dx all right okay so there you go guys this is um volumes using the washer method so it's just a little extra work here to find those r's uh to to make sure that you had your your integral correct okay um all right we'll catch you later bye